Hi there, welcome to our tips and tricks video. My name is Derek Peters and I'm an applications engineer with DP Technology. And it is my pleasure today to introduce you to our web portal for accessing the best support on the CAM market today. We know how critical technical support is in a fast moving industry. So we pride ourselves on our fast and effective tech support. You can use our tech support to ask questions about the Esprit interface, ask for help programming an Esprit file, or even request a change to your post processor. We guarantee response times of 30 minutes or less, something our customers really appreciate. There are several ways to reach out to our technical support team. You may call us on the phone at 800-627-8479 or you may send us an email at support at dptechnology.com. Today, we will be covering how to submit an incident directly on the Esprit CAM website. When you log into our website, espritcam.com, you'll notice a horizontal black toolbar across the top of our web page, highlighting the most important sections of our website. Right now, let's click on support and learn how to create a new incident. At the top of this page, we can see our title here that says Support Web Incident Details. For now, the ID field will be labeled New until we submit this incident by clicking Accept at the bottom of this page. At that point, you will be given an ID number which you can reference later to easily sort through any previously submitted incidents. You can fill out the next couple of fields here to provide us with some details about the incident you're submitting. You can tell us which are the products you're using, the severity of the issue, and the type of issue. If you have this information, you can tell us the build number of a spree that you are currently running, as well as the category of the issue. For this one, we're going to show you how to submit a request to change your post processor. In the title here, I'm going to go ahead and write something like help editing post. In my description, I'm going to add a short summary of the question that I have. It's very important to add these three files to the incident web page, which we'll be able to do after clicking accept in the bottom right. Once this incident has been closed later, we can fill in the resolution field. After clicking accept, an email will be sent to our support coordinators who will assign this incident to an available engineer. Our last step will be to attach any relevant files. Again, for a post edit, we need to add the Esprit file, the post, and a marked up NC code file showing us exactly what changes you want. Let's click on upload and browse that together at the bottom here to upload some sample files. I've already created a folder on my desktop which I'm going to use to submit these three files. I'm going to highlight my first, second, and third right here, my Esprit file my NC code, and my post processor. I'm going to click open, and then now these will be attached to our incident. Well done. We've just created our first incident together. This is the proper technique for requesting an edit to a post. Again, it's the Esprit file, the post, and the marked up NC code. We have some time here to go over a little bit of bonus material. Let's go to the top toolbar and select the My Account button at the top of our page. If we click on the My Company over here, we can find some information about our users. First name Esprit, last name Customer. Our licenses. And if we click on the left hand side, we can find our customer files. These files are the various Esprit posts and machine setups that you are licensed for. In addition, 
if you ever need to find any new post processors. We can use the toolbar on top to go to the post library. This library is going to have Esprit post processors, add-ins, and other important files which are searchable through a series of drop-down menus up here. As you can see, I've went through the Doosan manufacturer and in my search text I've selected links and I can see all the Doosan links posts that we have. Let's spend a little bit of time going back to the Esprit at Work link at the top of our toolbar. Through the Esprit at Work link, we can find new articles about updated Esprit features. And on the right hand side, we can also find webinar videos and in your corner videos, which will contain tips and tricks for using Esprit to its fullest capability. And then finally, at the very end here, if you're looking to upgrade to the latest version of Esprit, we can go down to the Esprit Downloads link in the bottom of our column on the right. Simply select the build that you would like to open or download, and this will begin downloading to our computer. Well, that's today's tip video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and share this video, and stay tuned for other tips and tricks. Thank you.